or Dave Mane, because right. they wrote this report and uh, asking for the redemarcation of the constituencies in the Gambia. Right, and, right, uh, right. I don't know whether you read that, Musa. But I did, I, I did, I did. Very yeah, interesting. They, yeah, they, they put up a hell of a argument. And uh, what I like about it, Moy, what I've been calling about for uh, for the longest, the banjo should be reduced to one constituency. Uh, mm -hmm. They also say that because what they're saying, Moy, you know what, in a democracy, there should be equal representation. I thought because Banjul they said two. Banjul, they, no, Banjul, I think they said to reduce it to one. Mm. It should, Banjul cannot even have two, Musa. Mm. If you go by, because so take a Serakunaves alone, I think they are almost about 260,000 voters or so, something like that. Yeah. And you go to Banjul, the whole voter <laughs> register of Banjul is about 33,000, but they have three representatives. It doesn't, it doesn't add up, you know. <clears throat> And and some of these, I think Fony, that's the one that they said should be reduced to two. Fony. And that's when it but used to be. Fony is a low level. Yeah, it used to be. Jame, of course, wanted the numerical advantage and decided yeah. let's make it five. So that at least opposition to you and any they will be they will not be able to catch us. But it, it's just the imbalance of Janjambure uh, uh, is they saying they should be matched into one of the existing yeah, I mean the constituencies. I mean, I may even still try to get Esa to see whether him and Dave would be able to join us. It is supposedly you know, one of the smallest constituency, Janjambure. Oh yeah, it doesn't make sense. No, it does not. But you know, like in every democracy, you always see that. I mean, actually, in the U.S., it's the worst when you have this serious gerrymandering oh, yeah. going all over the place sometimes, and they do it purposely to help party A or party B. Yep. You know what occurred to me the other day? I was watching, you know, this evolving Senegalese politics in um, back and forth. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? You know, they are, just like Gambia used to be, their Ministry of Interior is actually the ones running the elections. You know, they yep. don't have an independent electoral commission like we do. No, they did not. Nothing no, like they that. Did not. no, and, they did and, not. And, and, and what is funny, not only the Interior Minister is responsible for running elections, it's also the president who would issue a decree when elections are supposed to be held. Of course, there are guidelines, but the fact may. <laughs> you know. and, 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 it, and it's sad. And there is, you see, that, that's the dangerous thing that is happening with what Maki is trying to do. Mm. Because the interior minister was making an argument right. that the speaker might act if Maki were to step down. Right. And that speaker Muna and the powers to call for fresh elections where everybody like whatever Consti constitutional did mm -hmm. can be discarded and now it's like pretty much a new technically a new president calling. I don't know how that they're going to I think they this whole Maki I'm going to after this thing is all clouded in in uh, technicalities where right. they can eventually get what they what they no, want I think to they have I understand there are Go ahead. scenarios. <clears throat> mm -hmm. If he were to resign before April 2nd, yes. then clearly the president of the National Assembly will take over. Yes. If he waits still, I guess, after April 2nd, I understand, mm -hmm. then it doesn't automatically go to the um, president of the National Assembly. And in that particular case, they are hoping that the constitutional court can basically come up with in 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 Nakaling Kawahati <laughs> and maybe saying Maki can stay until the elections are held. Something like that. And those are the two different scenarios. I mean it's 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 crazy. But either way though, he is going <laughs> at the end of the day. But mom it's a it's a I'm, I'm I'm more that if there is one thing I like about the US system and uh, if you remember during the constitutional uh, our constitutional committee, when they were doing their review, I had argued that. Because in the US, since when Reagan was shot, and there was this yeah. argument between the Secretary of State being the next, this thing, and uh, all oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, succession, succession, succession. They, they decided, in yeah. fact, after that, the succession was very clear as mm -hmm. to the United States, Biden can die today. And you can have succession up to almost 25 people down the line. They will tell you exactly. if 
if this person dies, this person. If this person dies, this person. If this, so meaning that you will never have this constitutional crisis where yeah, this, in Senegal, nobody happen. can tell yeah. you clearly if Maki yeah. decides who is supposed to hold office for how long. And, exactly. and, and these are these are the inadequacies of our constitution because sometimes when we write constitution, we focus mostly on term limits. 50 plus one and all these things, but all these yeah. other issues. And if you look at the, the US Constitution, Musa, is the smallest document that you can ever have. You can put it in your pocket and go to go, go right. anywhere. Can you imagine Senegal Tamil is the same thing there. Yeah. When I saw their constitution, it's like 33 pages. Yep. 33 Senegal sent constitution. That's what it is. And I'm like, oh my God. Why <laughs> No one has time. But, but you see, the ambiguity is the ambiguity is more sometimes it's important to have a very detailed constitution. What happened? Is everything will become very, very clear. The constitution cannot carry every scenario. No, no, not. no but, but, but no, but it cannot that's why where you have the Supreme Court pool who make some nakalatura. Exactly. That is why those interpretations switch. <laughs> but guess what? Their 33 pages is the reason why they are having this issue that they are having. And America and their district no. water. When, when, when it, what was the name? I know you were here. The, I think it was the Secretary of State or Secretary of Defense who went and acted like he was Mula, the next big thing. Al, 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 Al Hegla, Al Hegla. 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 And, and maybe yeah. this has some somewhere state. along the line, the Secretary of State. Somewhere yes. along the line. Along the line. Yeah, you have the Secretary of State. But um, but Pastor, I don't know whether you had the also interesting thing. I saw um, I don't know whether maybe I'll just use my cell phone. I don't know whether you can see this. What um, is this? This is Ahmed Jite and Sabali and 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 and. and, and Jame neke chidigami. I'm like, is that Jame or Baro? Baro, Baro. <laughs> well, Jame and and you know what boy boy Jame yila won. Fum neke ni onyonyo se. Mane bilai. And you know what? I was just watching Pastef. They were having komli guy. They were said conference press. You know, press conference. The press press conference. Mm -hmm. And bro, I mean Pastef, you got a lot of young people. Of I mean, course. These are the guys that were like naked jail parole and speaking. I mean, they're front and center. And I'm looking at our situation where we um <laughs> we have all these young people. I mean, and and, and and just look at the kind of charade that they're involved in. We always talk about where well, Halei, you know, they're the future, they're the ones supposed to take over. But then if you look at moves that they make, I mean, it's no different like what our forefathers used to make those same kind of moves you know very calculating go with the current status quo they don't have core or anything like that and i'm like really and i'm gonna have one more, one more difference Abusa. sweet forefathers say, of course political gymnastics yes they were not as informed mm -hmm. as this latest generation of young people right these are people, because if you look at our politics in the 60s, when you were there, in the 70s, in the 80s, these were times when you had, uh, if you had, uh, what do they call it, like an associate degree, oh, yeah. you were celebrated oh, yeah, in that yeah. country. Oh, if yeah, you yeah. finished high school, you were celebrated in that country. Oh, if you went to Nakala to the uh, sixth form, you were celebrated. Oh, yeah, now we are in an era that. of... Uh, master's degree, PhD, 10 master's degrees and all this stuff. So, and then with this, the, the advent of social media mm -hmm. and, and also the, the advantage of hindsight. Yes, you would think. Wow. Because during the PVP, people just went from colonialism straight to a new beginning. Yes. But these people have seen or heard or read about the Jawara time. Right. Seen Jamme and seen Baro. Mm -hmm. They have been to university, so they've traveled outside and all these things. But to them, like it's just like when I when I used to coach the uh things, I would rather have a system, a goal, bigger than microwave. 
<laughs> these pe these kids now, these yes. young people, yes, their interest and success is based on microwave success. Yeah, they don't want to get their hands dirty. They don't want to do the hard the hard job. They will take any opportunity that comes to them as long as it gives them an opportunity to to be somebody in the world. And this is why. It's never guided by principles. It is not guided by anything. It's not guided by patriotism. It's not guided by principles. It's not guided by anything. It's just like, you know what? Hey, I have to... Uh, Come look at What's his name? Swing Friendly. Yeah. Uh, Seattle. <laughs> Ibrahim Adiba. Yeah, Adiba Take it.com. <laughs> You have to join the United Democratic Party. Uh, and that was during the Baro thing, you know. <laughs> and this was during that the era. And this was, this was when they were giving us the finger. And they, okay, now we all did this together, but now is our time. Oh, yes. So, 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 so people are driven by that, Musa. And then, the Muje. Because the problem that you have, Moy, for them, Pusante Bohamne Faneka. Hi. They are all angling for the same thing. Of and the, the biggest ask kisser is the most successful. Yes. So it's just a competition of who kisses ass uh, better than anybody else. That's just what it is. You know, this. It is. I was looking at what Ahmed Jitte wrote, actually. And, you know, and I was talking to my, <laughs> you know, Sumo Whitey boy fatty in Seattle. I'm glad he was such an Ahmed Jitte fan. And this was when he kind of dumped battle because they were so angry with what NPP and Baro did to Ahmed Jite. And here Ahmed Jite went, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Oh my God, I'm like, okay. I would like to thank H.E. the President Adam Abaro most profoundly for leaving the past in the past. <laughs> a special thank you to all those who worked tirelessly to bring the unity in the party, most especially Honorable Musa Drame, Fizuris, Fabusane, Sheikh Ahmed Jigo, Alaji Saibo Tungara, Haji Baniko Sisoho, my own brother in the name of Amadou Sow. So these are the people that kind of help bringing them together. And uh, Jibimbalo, and then of course, Boy Fati. And many others, a constant engagement for all of us to unite and move forward and create the interest of our team and country. I'm like, really? <laughs> you are doing all this for country? Really? How convenient. So this whole idea that all our days, you know, the beautiful ones are not yet born, and then it's going to really take a new generation of young people that are going to move this country. But we there still, if there is one thing that is missing there, Pasamba, is the word opportunistic more than anything else. No, that's that's what it is. It's like, in fact, not opportunistic, sir. Political prostitution. Of the highest order. That's, that's what it is. Musa, you see, if you love your country, you do not care who you are associated with. Because then you are associated always with what is in the greater interest of the country, not an individual. Mm -hmm. And Bani or whatever that name, that name <laughs> comes up every time because I think they more like Haji Baniko. <laughs> yes, I think he's the one who gives out the cars. You oh, know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this are the, this, this, and you see, they will tell you, oh, Musufi, how can I not get a grow? They tell you, why are you doing this? And your first response is, we are not the first people to do it. <laughs> you see? Because whenever you do good, and they tell you, oh my God, why are you doing this good? Your response will never be, I'm not the first person to do good. You appreciate that because you know that, oh, I'm doing something good. Yeah. But whenever you are still told something, oh, why are you doing this? Flip, 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 flopping old. Today you're NPP, tomorrow you're UDP. Oh, I'm not the first person to do it. That's what they tell you. <laughs> because, Musa, if you love your country so much, You do not never worry about being a friend of a president or an enemy of a president or a friend of an opposition leader or an enemy of an opposition leader. Because what you see is country and what is good for country. Where you will speak your mind based on what you think is in the greatest interest of your country. But again, country, I'm going to 
ben oustaz bu nabi la yalla su amon dom mu tollu xex lay dekk ngir lu xew rek ñu ne yalla ko def and what they they use our country and as a prostitute and great interest of our, in the interest of our country that's the boss word that they use every time yeah and if you ask them what is in the interest of the country they may not even be able to tell you it's just like coming with these slogans and you know what is funny though dahaba dahaba yeah the guy in banju i saw a video that he did i don't know whether you saw that you know with yeah. sabal his new the youth the youth are happy or whatever youth because you have happy. to come up with something to at least appeal to the president to make so all oh, the youth are happy okay. and the happy youth are the ones that are dying in the oceans every day trying to escape the country or mm-hmm. are high on that coast or whatever they call the drug or those are the happy youths and dahaba was saying that you know what youth are happy it's not something that he just talk about that happens that's the pre- president who can only talk about the youth that are happy also and what am i learning for the matter this is a person to know no will always be there because it's not unfortunately the joke is us and uh, our country has been reduced to nothing but opportunism no. and who can make it the you fastest something and i kind of want to differ a little bit i don't even think sane it's a question of a litmus test whether one loves the country or not then maybe these people they don't love the country maybe they do you know we all do in our own way you know what the blatant truth is they don't have any core belief they've always been driven by class maybe whether it's power or whether they want to be the local champion it's just selfishness of the highest order i don't think it has anything to do with me they are less patriotic than the ones that are not doing it you know what i mean or they le- they love the country less I I I I I I don't know really I don't think that I will use that as a litmus test may these people are not patriotic they might be but one thing that I know for sure though because munulo know take Ahmed Jite for instance Ahmed Jite has always you know I even called him here one time loose cannon he didn't like that at all <clears throat> because of his temperament and how he can when he got mad and he made that facebook and went after the first lady like why are you doing that You know what I mean? And this is the same guy we all said at one time that he would have been a much more viable candidate in the NPP choose instead of CDC said if they really wanted to win. I've always said that Ahmed Jite his contribution during the 2021 elections. No one I am telling you the guy was effective. I saw him on 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 the campaign platform and the guy was good. Ahmed Jite is good. He's good at what he does. We've always, we've always said that. And then Bigoga is such a fini and they went and he won the to become to become the nominee. We all said that as well. And he was cheated out of it. He walked out and said, "You know what? I'm not having it. I'm going to run as an independent." Oh my goodness. You're a young guy. He talked about why you remember when he came onto our program, why he was actually running. He talked about he has this nice job. In, in 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 Canada and he was paying all this big time money so clearly he wasn't doing it because of <laughs> is for money or anything else and i kind of challenge him he did not like that i'm like dude you're telling me $4000 a month you telling me that's a big amount of money that you're not willing to uh there's a lot more to it but those were some of the arguments that Ahmed Jite was making i would have thought everything said and done Ahmed Jite sort of stuck with his core beliefs do whatever needed to be done form a political party whatever it is you know what i mean create something young people need to do that like pastif is doing no they 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 read it just like dr c said it read the tea leaves can you imagine citizen alliance if dr c said did not make that kind of move and everything is intact accent guy I mean we would be kind of talking about when I mean, citizen alliance come 2026 but they have been forgotten no core they didn't believe in anything that they were saying kapning ngelam rek and for whatever reason and we're supposed to believe them boy fatty objects on do you want me to send you the i can send you the link my good friend now why 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 what is what is there to object siwapa hanga 
I'm going to learn more, learn more interesting, Samusa. Yeah. Gisinga man, if I were to leave this show mm. based on principles, because I see something that is happening here and is not happening according to that I believe is the best interest. Correct. If I'm it, coming happens, back, it happens every Sunday. <laughs> yeah, man, right. just it. If I if I were to come back to be brought back by yeah. Haji Badikos, you know, he nyom nyom kapul sane nyom nyom. Nyom nakalatura, naka nyom nyom supurote, nyom nyom you know nyom Albert Mendi. The people that you know, every day you feel also you know you know oh, you know meeting. You know we have to find a way of naka nyom unity. I will make sure that whatever was the reason I left is first taken care of before I join again. But then again, that's where people uh, are different. Uh, of course, everybody has a right to freedom of association. But again. If you take a public position, mm. I'm joining group A or group B publicly, you better also have a, uh, expect a public reaction to your decision too. And that's just what it is. You know. Well, no, I, I think, can you imagine the Halifa Salas of this world forming a party going all the way back in the 80s and fighting supposedly for the Gambian people, enlightenment, the sacrifice, they don't even own a single house, nothing materialistic, CD and Jata. We've all seen the samsaras of this world, this kind of sacrifice. And these people were young. People think, are you freaking kidding me? It wasn't too long. You, you, we, all, we all remember the big Afro back in 1994. Oh, yes. when I mean, this guy is young, as young can be. And they could have easily folded, bro, and make some of these excuses that supposedly this young generation is making. Who doesn't want a nice house? Who doesn't want to be in the Gambia and be driving a beautiful car? I mean, having, who doesn't want that? We all do. Everybody wants that. But again, I don't know. It, 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 it is what it is. That, that I'm going to want to and uh, the biggest thing was Halei. Halei didn't know what was your chance. Who, who took the chance from the Halei? <laughs> Look! Look at! Look at! Look at ninety-four. The people that came there were Halley. I know like oh. one day, twenty-seven years, I twenty-nine years. They Halley, 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 what they came and took over our country. We are still Very taking years. All right. And then, and then, now this Halley. Look at CA, for example. Yes. CA was whatever people were looking at. Then you know what? Hey, this is a new thing for us. Yes, and their whole argument was all these old politicians do not get it right. Yes, we are bringing a new brand of politics, a politics mm -hmm. based on principles. We are going to do this. We are going to do that. And I see it. Eh? The first opportunity that was presented to them, or their leader, or whoever, was taken. Right. And the man that they called incompetent at every step of the way. Right. Was giving these pickups, Pulmu Yohiai company, so that they can go and campaign for the incompetent guy. And this, after you sat at a symposium mm -hmm. with OJ and everybody, mm -hmm. and certainly the biggest mistake that the coalition made, that was, these were his words, not mine. Doctor Sisters. Yes, Doctor, he's my guy. Yeah. The biggest mistake that the coalition made was seeing a Halifa Salah and voting for an Adam Abaro at their convention. That was his saying. Mm -hmm. But these whole people were also part of a process. <laughs> Again, you chose to do what you claim to have been a mistake then and say, you know what, I am going to campaign for a guy who should not have ever been given an opportunity to be president of this country. But again, Musa Molana, politics is a funny, it's a funny thing, but it should not be. And they call it a game, but it should not be a game. Oh, it is not a game. Far because of it. the consequences of it. Man yeah. United today lost against Man City. That was a game. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> it doesn't affect the livelihood of anybody. In fact, the players, when they were done, they went and exchanged jerseys, shook hands, and get into their Ferraris and went their homes, to their homes, to their wives and girlfriends or whatever. Yeah, but when politicians make these ones, it affects the livelihoods of millions of people, and this is why when you are in it, you must be very serious, do it seriously, because of the impact that it may 
it has positively or negatively towards the lives of the Gambian people. So, and and at the end of the day, they will continue to take their pictures. Baro Mamun Farekde, Kunyo, has Kosonyo what he will take you back. Because to Baro, and, 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 and Baro is just trying to, you know what, like you said here the last time, his satisfaction is, you know what, I was able to lose Sabali away from the UDP to the NPP. Oh, that's, that's you know, he has no value for Baro. No, None. no, zero. Absolutely not. And any one of them, including, um, um, what's his name, Ahmed Jite. Let me, even if you look at um, the NPP and supposedly the political strategy that they have, and that is very focused, you know, Musa Drame, everybody is engaged in it, and that is to go and still take some important people from the United Democratic Party. And that is their way of decapitating the party per se. Pasama, <clears throat> if, if you, let's, 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 let's look at the Western democracies, really. I mean, you know that bare knuckle politics happen in the US. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can get very ugly. You go anywhere. Like in, ugly, huh? in, in Europe, the same thing. It can get very ugly. But one thing that I can tell you, though, or at least when I'm not seeing it, I don't see the Republican Party or the Democrats, and I'm sure maybe even the Labour Party in England, going out of their way that their main strategy is to convince a particular person to come and join their party. The focus is never about that. The focus is, don't you think, Ne, but his focus should be policies that I have to convince the grassroots, the average Gambian, this is what I inherited. This is what I am doing. Convincing people, winning hearts and minds. Forget about the Sabalis. Forget about the Ahmed Jites. They can't do jack for you. So if your whole thing is for me to remain viable, and then you know what is funny? That has always been in the game, even going all the way back to after independence. It is so primitive. Nothing has changed in supposedly when we are sophisticated people and the parties have evolved. Timing on PPP in the early years, or it was the same thing. Convince somebody to come and join your party. Took a personality. I mean, I remember in the good old days back in Kaur, you know them said, a very important guy. Kohamne was well known in UDP. New Solal Kau. Haftan bu blue, mu takap bahkan mu blue, mana mana rally na, aku tu mu fun and 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 that was PPP has pulled a big, a big one. If you can if if you can go to your opponent and you steal one of their people, bro, what kind of politics? Not only is it primitive, but for Yomba, it is very easy for the government in power in this particular case, the NPP who convinced somebody, whether it was this National Assembly member from Congo East, really what I mean. But I'm just saying, why wouldn't Barrow and the CDCs of this world take their message to the people of Congo East? Forget about that, that, that National Assembly member. And people are saying that if that guy, if elections were to be held today, that guy would lose. He's going to lose. <clears throat> he would lose. So, but I'm saying that if I am Barrow, if I am the NPP, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I is a message. Why don't you bring policies and programs that will impact the lives of the young people? And and, and, and supposedly, and um, Sabali, he's the one that speaks for the young people. I don't speak for anyone but himself. No, but, but, but Musa, Musa, mm -hmm. Moi, you see, here and maybe in, in, in Europe, people join political parties based on ideological beliefs. Yes, issues. Issues. You believe, you know what, I am aligning because there is a vast difference between the Labour Party and the Conservative in, 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 in the US. On every issue. Okay. Wow. Well, like issue. Jeremy uh, Corbyn. Corbyn, right. The one that I think they should be the Prime Minister of England, but they will never allow him. Right. It doesn't matter how angry he is at the Conservative, at the Labour Party, and whatever the Conservative allow this thing. His conscience will never allow him. 
In fact, if he, if you he were to join and go go go, go join the conservative, it'd be like uh Nakala to the when she saw. And the fact the fact that he can't because what is he going to say? He every, would never be able to say and, yeah. and, and, and different. Even here in the United States, apart yeah. from Trump, who has no ideological belief, none whatsoever. <laughs> never did. Never did. Yeah. But to him, he is no different from from party to party. Yeah, because that's what Trump did. Trump used to defend all these things. Abortion, he believed in abortion. He was anti the republic. Talked about even yeah. when you want to run the economy, give it to a Democrat and all these things. But he knew that you know what, my shortest path to victory. Well, let me go to the Republican Party. They are not. Whatever I say, those people will follow me. He went there not because of ideology, but he opportunity, which, which he is, you know. So this is the difference. But if you look at look at let's look at Nini. Uh, like say Baro from Nekan. The youths are happy. What will make the youth happy is not by appointing a youth or getting a youth in your party. No, no. Their unhappiness is due to lack of opportunities. Yeah. Their unhappiness is every day is something that you see every day. Why not say, you know what, I'll come up with a youth policy that would address this to the extent that I'll be able to win over these young people. It doesn't matter. You can go and pick ST, Tay, ST. The most popular Gambian artist, yeah, and bring him to the NPP. That doesn't mean the youth are going to no. follow him because they no. know what they need ST for and what he can bring. Unless you bring about policies and programs that will convince the youth that you are the right person for them, yeah. they're not just going to follow you and mass. It's not going to happen. Possible, sir. So this this notion of Mangi Amkini and then your slogan is the youth are happy. Happy about what? Maybe somebody needs to ask him that. Tell us the happiness. Why are they happy? And then go and take, you know, the family CA. You remember when CA started? They'll go with their T-shirt, meet Musa Jeng. Musa Jeng, I was doing, you know, because all T-shirt. Kojo Gambia T-shirt, Musolko. Of course. Oh, we are winning hearts and minds. He was UDP. No. He decided to take his NPP shirt and wore the uh, CA shirt. That's not, that's not how you win politics. You have to put... No, no, it is very easy, and parties do it, and that's just for show business more than anything else. Look at NPP, and, and, I, and, and again... Their biggest strategy up to 2026, Moi converting well-known UDP folks to jump ship and come and join battle. If that happens, then that means the UDP is dead. That's you know, their whole, their entire strategy is that. And they're willing to spend money to do that. But I'm saying, if there is one thing that Adam Abaro has, he has the bully pulpit, then you never have me. On the campaign trail, Adam Abaro is very effective. He doesn't need Sabali to speak for him. I can tell you that. He doesn't need that Combo is member of parliament. He can go to... You know, well, Kobo Kobo has never said a word in the National Assembly, so the may chances are he has never exactly. said one word in Kobo the Kobo National Assembly. Kobo represent to Dara. So <laughs> I'm just telling you the craziness. And I'm maybe I'm even, I want to speak to I mean, uh, uh, Baron himself. Now, don't get carried away. Believe me. You want to talk to the Gambian people? You want to make difference in their lives? Speak to them different, I mean, directly, and not only that. Bring so about programs. Gambia is an extremely poor country. I'm not going to sit here and think, in me, you took power, you became president, um, everybody is going to be employed overnight. Our problems will just go and everything will be like manna from heaven. That ain't going to happen. But there's one thing that I know. If people see someone who has belief, someone who is not corrupt, someone who understands our circumstances, someone who will deal with issue after issue, driven only what is in the interest of the Gambian people. Like Halifa Salah. Halifa Salah doesn't give anybody money or anything like that. But if you're talking about respect, if you're talking about people known a key, Lumla Wafibe Elek is true, it's him. So it is all strategy, but just to kind of, um, we cannot give up on young people in totality. Asama, did you see Talib Ben Suda? Before you see Talib, sir, see what I'm I saw his interview. He's, he's, yes. he's, he's, he's you know, would say what, whatever you want to say, but uh, but we'll come to that. I've got yes. the, the biggest problem that people make, and uh, maybe Baro should learn from his friend, Makisal. Yeah, when you focus on some an individual an entity too much, thinking that you know what, if I can just decapitate them, then my problems are gone. Exactly. Look at let's look at even let's go back to Baro. 
is a James tactic. Yes. Was if I can get, I kill solo sending, jail the whole UDP leadership. That will solve my problem. That's what he thought in his thinking. Like, well, I have Usain Dabo in jail. I have these people in jail. They are all in jail. The yes. opposition for me is weakened. Yes. You right? Yes. But what happened? Out of the blue, somebody King Ahamdeni Sosole Nakalatura, Hafta Nangi, Verkuro Yangi Jay, and all these things. Silly Pasami, Agana must go back and be all this place. Nobody knew him. <laughs> Out of the blue. Agana must go. Agana must go. You know, those bags, you know, the Ghana must go. Because I saw pictures of that, that Bobla Ghana and the you know. Ghana must go. Out of the blue, he's not at Usain Dabo, he's not at Halifa Salah, he's not in. And so Somebody just came from nowhere within the UDP. You could have asked one million people in the Gambia to name you and all the excellent members in the UDP, even UDP members, Adam Abaros name will not even come up. No. Nobody knew him. No. But he was able to come. People were able to rally around him. A coalition was built. And Jame was defeated. You look at Senegal. Makisali in all his thing, you know what? If I jail Senko, if I ban Pastef, I am good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, never, it never was. And then he mistook, or maybe forgot Juma Ifa Ima, because if CJB Kuk guy, they can't do a select. You know, because he did. Can't do it. Can't do it. They look. And Juma Ifa, out of nowhere, people started, when they say Juma Ifa, everybody started going, who is Juma Ifa? You know, <laughs> Googling the name to see who this guy was. And yeah. now this guy is potentially the next president of the country if they are allowed to go to elections today. Uh -huh. So what are this notion of, let me just focus, if I take, uh, you can go and take everybody from the UDP. But that does not solve your problem overnight. So I'll focus on governing and doing what will be in the interest of the people. Exactly. So that at least they will begin to see. Because the biggest problem that you have, you are talking about this inflation. Mm -hmm. Inflation is everywhere. Yes. But governments are blamed for it. Yes. It's under their when, watch. When gas goes up here in this country, yes. no president at the White House sleeps because you know that you may lose the elections. And you don't you don't necessarily have court. There was a reason why Biden decided to to to, to use the, uh, the, the the oil reserve that the US did, do, does not touch to right. make sure that we have enough gas so that the price will come down. Absolutely. But at least those governments are trying to do something to solve it. We mm -hmm. are getting into a record. They are telling in a Saddam the American rise, which was right. about 1,300 or whatever. Now they're saying it's about 2,300. These right. are the bread and butter issues that Gambians uh, face. Correct. And today they do not care whether there is war in Ukraine or China. That's not their problem. Right. All their problem is can we afford it? If we cannot afford it, <laughs> huh? pray, pray for Yoko. Wow. Pray for Yoko. Right. Jamano Thousand level one, legging you go two thousand three hundred. Even though fighting in the Jamano Jawara, one hundred fifty level one, then you know the better house. So people do not care because they worry about how to feed their families. Where the court is coming, they are stressed out. The youth do not have jobs. You have all these things, the the the, the, the drugs problems in this country. At least so the people. Now you know what? For once, I am serious about this matter. Exactly. This is what I am doing about it. Exactly. Talking to people directly, but just having somebody going about telling people, oh, you know what, Nagalatura, the youth are happy, the youth are happy, or oh, but uh, I'm gonna go to Gajigo Nyoning Who cares about those things? Who talks about Sabali Aki Abu Kajawar said reconciliation? Nobody, Nobody talks about, people have this one. That's no. not their issue. Their issue Nobody okay. does. How am I going Nobody to my family <laughs> or how am I going to survive? But again, okay. let me continue with this. The thousands of people that I saw at SD's um um, thing yesterday, I can guarantee you that somebody <laughs> has no hold on those kids. I'm telling you, he doesn't speak on them. one bit, and they could care less about I mean Jawara and Sabali's reconciliation. You know, you know, same top at all. Again, if President Baro and the government wants to deal with these issues of the young people, there are a lot of ways that you can do it. I mean, you don't necessarily need to bribe some of these people or get them from Party A. In order, you know, somehow, the only reason why they're attractive is because they're on the other side. I can guarantee you there are a lot of Gambians that are much, much, much more effective than they are. They don't When he was with the UDP, he had a platform. So you, you, it's just yeah. like me, Fumnekani. If I were to go and Nemangi join Baro, 
<laughs> that's the end of <laughs> who wants to listen to me they have borrowed to listen to you know no no nobody will ever listen to you <laughs> 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 made it in here last week but the next person on the thing is Musa Jeng. They're gonna hate you anyway. Ah, you can see, but I'm going to get them all now. I don't, I don't think I like, I like where I'm at and who I am <laughs> and what I represent. Anyway, Musa Jeng, I don't borrow. I would, I would want to see you in a, in a, in a, in a, in a cabinet meeting. Now you start going, you know, scratching your head, you know. No, I cannot. I have to be able to say what I believe in and at least remain consistent. All of us, Pasamba, we have our biases here and there. But I think consistency, I think it's a little bit important, really. It's the most, if you're not consistent, you are not a. Niki, how much consistency? Gom, gom, gom. Because you have to believe in something to be consistent in it. If you do not believe it, then the to borrow from you you'll just be wherever the wind blows that's where you go you have to believe in something to be consistent with it because if you don't believe it it's nothing to you you know so because if she borrows into your life that's what you'll consistently be anyone who really watches this program and i mean going all the way back for the past we've been on like seven eight years or more than that <clears throat> yeah we yeah eight, eight years and to be honest, I mean, any reasonable person who is out there that you've been following this program, even way before Barrow came, you will know that this platform has always been very consistent. <clears throat> Our thing was always about democracy and bringing about change. And I don't think that we've ever wavered from it. In as much as we have our choices here and there. I mean, during the time of Jame, I was very critical of the United Democratic Party, if you remember. I mean, I never. It, it didn't just happen overnight. When we came together and formed a coalition, oh my God, that was the best thing that I supported it wholeheartedly because the bigger picture more won't change. The same thing with you, even though you have your party leanings, but at the same time, you've always been consistent. You've always been this crazy activist on steroids and that hasn't changed. Whether it was Tiny Jamme or whether it's now, that hasn't changed. Calling me a crazy activist. You know what? This is going to have Abu Bakar Jawal or Sabali. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sue you in the Gambia. <laughs> and, and I'm just looking at Karamba saying consistency is very important. Karamba has always been very consistent. So oh, he's yeah. told me pass. <laughs> he has nothing to show for it. The Karamba that you hear on Nakalinko um, in now recently, I've been hearing him on Coffee Time. Yes. It is the same Karamba the past 20 years. <laughs> Mune <laughs> <laughs> empty half times. <laughs> that hasn't changed. You can disagree with him all you want, but he's always been very consistent and very, and very civil. Yes, yeah. in his Actually, approach. So, 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 let me give you opportunity to go to your loose cannon thesis because I know you want to see a loose cannon. So, you know, from <laughs> track. <laughs> <laughs> but today, I only drill when I say things that you. That, that, that he doesn't want to hear. But, but, the, but you see, at the end of the day, you need to understand it. Like, the good thing about this show, this show was happening before this show even happened. Oh, yeah. Like, I tell people, uh, if you were on our morning calls with Banker, you would think the people will kill each other. And of course, after work, the calls too. Because it has always been, we've never agreed on anything. Even if we agree on it, people will come from different, different, different. It, 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 but the thing is, that's the good, at the end of the day, you need, we cannot just, this is not Talibanism. No, man. You know, we are going to escape. That's a, that's a problem. We have to have our different views. And they must not also be, if one thing that I appreciate, Moine, our views are not, not going to the uh, dictated yes. by the, by our friendships. You know, we'll come here, we'll harkuneka mm -hmm. bopambi, and that's I'll give credit to STGDP. That's what our meetings used to be like. It okay. used to be the toughest thing, you know, the karambas, these, of course, sigajan. <laughs> it was it was a great thing. You know, we'll go and have you know, Joe Sambu. You know, Joe Sambu. Joe Sambu is the hardest person to please. Oh, extreme. so he would always come from left field. But at the end of the day, we'll do that, and then 
after the meetings we'll have our jokes and joke crack our jokes and go about our, our, our business and that's and i think even if we run our country and look at our issues from that angle it helps us and this way you cannot see your opponent as your enemy exactly and that's the thing you yeah. cannot you cannot like in fact i really do not even want to see Pata PJ, come and join Doi. In fact, I don't want him there. <laughs> because if everybody comes to your camp, it weakens the democracy. Of course. Because, and that's that's the problem. We must we must be able to, yeah. like Dr. Yeah. Say, agree to disagree without being disagreeable. It's mm -hmm. a country. We cannot see the same path. I will take anybody but Pata uh, Doi. Pata Neka UDP. In fact, UDP should be for fire. Mother MPP, this whole thing, and they're going to destroy UDP. It's so, it's so idiotic. First of all, it's not going to work. And at the same time, I mean, we don't want to become a one-party state. We want to have a very effective opposition. Mohamne, when elections are going to happen, nobody knows who's going to win. I mean, Senegal, call it whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but everybody knows. No one knows who's going to win the next election. We are here pundits saying that this is this is this is this is July July to 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 to, to lose. But you just never know. And no, you never know. We always, we always, we always, we always yeah. want to see opposition out there. And I mean responsible, effective opposition. I think that is good for our democracy. Maybe, maybe I'll give you your segue to, 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 to your Talib interview. I know you are dying to talk about that. No, I'm dying. I'm going to be young Makol Tisuba. Manela Deglo Gumako. And I just went Kirfatu and then I started watching this interview. You know, I mean, People that follow this program, they know him and I like Talib. Yep. When he ran the first time, I listened to him. 